Hey folks, I finally thought of an idea for a video. No, I'm not dead. I decided to rant about things about Tumblr I hate in no particular order. Number 1, Wannabe Film Critics. If you're going to post a 10 page essay on whatever movie you just completed from your movie bucket list, please for the love of whatever you believe in, use the read more button or type in, read more, under the title of your essay. People will block you and possibly report you for spam. Making your post extremely long won't remind everyone of the do you like the color of the sky? Post. Number 2, Porn Bots. I know that the porn bots are a meme within Tumblr like Goncharov and the Children's Hospital, but it's annoying to get new followers and then immediately find out it's just a bot and not someone who enjoys the bullshit you post. Porn bots and actual sex workers on Tumblr are two different demographics. All bots have the exact same bio and similar looking blogs, typically they'll say something like Nicole. 25. Uzbekistan. And all the links on their blog are possibly just Trojan viruses and ways to easily siphon money from your bank account. If you're from Uzbekistan, I'm sorry, your country was the first obscure country I could think of. Please don't hurt me. Number 3, Aesthetic Blogs. Much like film critics slash reviewers, aesthetic blogs can clog up the search results and just be annoying. They're all just pictures you'd see on Pinterest tbh. If you've seen one aesthetic blog, you've seen them all. No, the blogs aren't like this, it's just diet Pinterest. And finally, number 4, certain types of ex-reader fanfics. Yes, I'm one of those lunatics who reads ex-reader smut, so I'm basing this on what I've observed since I was in middle school. I'm not the only one who's noticed how pretty much every reader's bedroom in a smut looks like a nursery for a little girl. Yes, grown women can like pastels and softer aesthetics, but the way the bedroom in a smut is depicted usually looks like what you're seeing on screen. I don't know about y'all, but I don't think a grown woman would have her bedroom look like a nursery for fuck's sake. It gives off the same vibes as complying with some creep's fantasy of having his girlfriend slash wife looking as prepubescent as possible. It gets even worse if the story is just smut and it's kinky smut. If I offended you at all in this video, especially with the last one. I missed the part where that's my problem.